Support for the Nature Museum is provided by Rose Pest Solutions, protecting homes, businesses, health, and the environment since 1860. Hi everyone, welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Erin and today is an extra special episode because Catherine Lampert is back with a winter art craft for us. My name is Catherine Lampert and today we're going to paint with snow. So the first thing that you're going to need is a snowy day. And the other materials that you'll be using are some sort of palette. I'm just gonna use this empty egg crate, but you can use a muffin tin or if you have a fancy artist palette with little cups in it, that works. I also have some empty containers for my color. These pipettes, which are optional. A few spoons. And for your color, you're going to use either food coloring or you can buy liquid washable watercolor paints. Um, I'm using food coloring just because that's what I had laying around, but if you are really concerned about staining, which um, food coloring can do, then you might want to get the liquid washable watercolors, which are great for kids. The first thing I'm gonna do is fill up my palette with snow. And then I'm gonna take my water and pour a little bit of water into a few containers. I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of food coloring in these containers. A few drops goes a long way. You might wanna mix these around a little bit with a spoon. So then I'm gonna use these optional pipettes and I'm gonna use them to take some of my color and color my snow. So if you want to and you don't have pipettes, you can actually just put a few drops of food coloring right into your snow and then mix it around with your spoon and color it that way. Or you can use your spoon, add a little color that way to your snow. The next thing I'm gonna do is start scooping my snow right onto my watercolor paper. And if you're doing this project with a group of kids or as a family project, I think it can be really fun to work on a really big sheet of paper and do it all together as a group project. You can also use your pipette to put color right onto the paper or right into your snow. And why not, let's just dump it on there. I love seeing those colors mixed together. I like using the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, because you can make all of the other colors from them, so it's, it's fun to try mixing other colors right on your paper. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some salt on top. I'm using this very coarse sea salt, and the reason that I'm sprinkling salt is salt absorbs moisture, so it has a really interesting effect when you use it with watercolors or food coloring. It absorbs some of the water and leaves kind of a speckled pattern. You don't need the super coarse sea salt though. You can also use um, just some regular table salt. And you can use both for a variety of textures. Now that I've finished, I'm going to bring my piece inside so that the snow can melt and so that the paint can dry. Um, I'm going to place it into um, some sort of tray or a sink so that all of that excess moisture has somewhere to go other than my table. So when your piece is dry, it will look like this. You might want to brush off some of your salt and then you can see if you look close up some of those um, speckled patterns where your salt absorbs some of the moisture on your paper. You can also leave some of the salt on. It's sort of like natural glitter. And that's how you paint with snow. That's our show for today and thank you so much for tuning in. And a special thanks to Catherine for always having such a great project for us. Catherine's work is linked below and be sure to send a picture online of what you came up with. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like below and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Thanks again for joining us today and we'll see you back here next time on Curious by Nature.